everyone. Hey Alex, it's Liam. And it's Gwen. Here are today's announcements. The HBA Ethics Bowl team will hold an interest meeting on September 30th at 3.40 in room F113. Anyone who is interested is welcome to join us. HBA Theater will be having auditions for Almost Maine on Thursday, September 30th after school. This play will be performed on December 3rd and 5th, and all students may audition, not just those in theater. Rehearsals will be after school in October and November, so interested students should be able to meet several days a week after school. The auditions will consist of cold reads from the play, so no, spe no, so no special preparation is needed. The HBA Book Club will meet after school in the library on Friday, September 24th. This week is Banned Book Week, Books Week. Stop by the library to learn more about banned books. They are open during lunch with several activity stations set up for you to explore. We are extending the time frame for you to pay for HOSA. You may pay online through Friday, September 24th. Thanks. Thank you to the seniors and juniors that voted for prom themes. The winner is Casino Night. Start to make your plans to attend prom on Saturday, April 30th. The library has received a grant for the purchase of more audiobooks. Use this QR code or link to make recommendations for purchase. That is all for today, Ox, and remember, keep it flowing. Hi, fly. my name is Reagan Harris. And my name is Braylon Head, and we are working with the Active Minds Group to help the students of our community. We wanted to let everyone know what to do when their friend tells them that they are struggling with their mental health. You always want to make sure that the person that is talking to you knows that you're listening to them and that you are there for them. You never want to make that person feel like they can't express their struggles. To start, you want to validate what the person says. Let them know that what they're going through is okay and that they're going to be okay. The next thing you want to do is to let that person know that you appreciate them telling you. Make sure they know that you are there for them and there are people who can help. The last thing you want to do is make sure you refer the person. Give them examples of people or apps that could help them while they are struggling. This three-step system helps people every day. It is one of the most effective ways to help someone struggling with their mental health. There are several ways that you can help your friends and the people around you when they tell you that they are struggling with their mental health. You never want to make them feel bad for struggling with their mental health. We encourage people to use this method to help the people around them. It could really change someone's life. We also want everyone to know that if you are struggling with your mental health, there are people around who you can talk to.